don't move our post office is the strong message that the people of Lisnesky are giving out this week. This post office, situated in the centre of the town, locals say is at a perfect site and has been successfully serving the community for decades. The proposed move is to here, about a quarter of a mile from the existing post office. Like many shops throughout the north, local convenience stores are now doubling up as post offices as well. The campaigners against the move say they are not concerned with ownership. This is simply a location issue and believe if the post office is to move to here, not only have they rose safety concerns, they say it will rip the heart out of their community. Over 1,000 petitions have been signed in response to the relocation of the office. Alma Kinnear from Kiss and Crust and the chairwoman of the Chamber of Commerce for Lissinski has been heading the campaign to stop the move. This is my business and it's just relatively a small business but there's not a day goes by. I don't actually worry, um, will my business survive, will it still be here next year? And if, if that's not uh, bad enough then someone comes along and takes out the heart of the community, the heart of the town which is our post office and that already will have a knock-on effect because the people that we have coming in every day there's a possibility that those people will now drift off to either go to somewhere else in the town or drift off to another town altogether and we really don't want that to happen so basically we're saying to the government or the post office you know just you know loosen the rope a wee bit take the pressure off you know it's don't keep putting pressure on towns and villages like ours which is a small community and we need the centre of our town to remain the way it is. Pensioner John Rehill is very concerned. He believes the new location could prove to be very dangerous for post office customers. This that they have suggested moving it to is probably the worst possible place in the town because there's a cross flow of traffic coming up the Derry Lane Road there and there has been a lot of accidents in that corner and I have seen large lorries frequently turn and left and they have to pull straight across the street and even at that the back wheels generally come up on the curb right in front of the shop. No harm to the proprietors but it is the worst possible place they could put a post office. Chairman for Trades and Markets Ronnie Farrell believes the post office as it stands is at a convenient spot for traders in the town to carry out their daily business. Where the post office is now, you have uh, the traffic lights, you have banks, you have butcher shops, you have the whole thing right around the, where it is. There's uh, what, three, four free parking places. You can seat park, uh, you have all the business is done down around here. Alma says the post office executives have issued a six-week consultation process to review the situation. We sent a letter to post office, that was the first letter, the first correspondence that we did have with post office to tell them that we were simply, um, we wanted them to rethink. So they did send back a letter to say thank you for, for this and that they would now have to go into a six-week consultation. So at least we managed to achieve to get a stall um, and then each week from that, we've had numerous letters that have gone into the local press. Numerous letters have been sent directly to post office in Belfast. Um, signatures uh, started right away, and now we have over a thousand signatures. Um, and so people are, and every you know, everyone's asking now, you know, how are we doing? Are we going to get there? Will we win? And I said, well, you know, we it'll not be with it'll not be without trying. Today the campaigners are drafting a letter to accompany their petitions and hope by this time next week they will have a meeting set up with the executives to determine the fate of their post office. Fermanna TV will be following this story in the coming weeks. Ashlyn Hagen, Fermanna TV.